The name Porsche is synonymous with luxury and excellence. Well, with such a high standard, you can expect that the vehicles that this company produces are going to be representative of these values. All of Porsche's offerings are amazing, but the new 2024 Porsche Cayenne really takes the cake. Despite being a refresh of a model that first appeared in 2019, Porsche calls this one of the most extensive product upgrades in the history of Porsche. The Taycan served as the inspiration for the Cayenne's redesign, which now includes new engines, a redesigned suspension, and enhanced handling, as well as a new digital instrument cluster and an optional front passenger display. Now, we don't have many images or videos of the car, but the reports that are coming out of Porsche surely paint a promising picture. So, let us go into depth about the engine and the overall mechanical aspects of this car. The base Cayenne model still has a 3-liter V6 engine with turbocharging. Increases of 13 horsepower and 36 pound-feet bring the total output to 348 horsepower and 368 pound-feet. In addition to the V6 turbocharger, the Cayenne e-hybrid's electric motor has been upgraded to produce 174 horsepower. The net consequence is a gain of 8 horsepower, bringing the total output to 463 horsepower. Increases from 17.9 kilowatt hours to 25.9 kilowatt hour in battery capacity. No preliminary price tags can be found. The new 11 kilowatt AC charger may be plugged in at home to recharge in just two and a half hours. The Cayenne S replaced the V6 with a twin turbo 4 liter V8. The eight cylinder engine has an increase of 34 horsepower and 37 pound feet of torque over the six cylinder engine for a total output of 468 horsepower and 442 pound feet. With this engine, the base model and the coupe, when equipped with the optional Sport Chrono package, can reach 60 miles an hour in 4.4 seconds. You may reach a maximum speed of 169 miles per hour. Finally, the Cayenne Coupe Turbo GT tops the lineup with a 650 horsepower tune of the twin turbo 4 liter V8. This is a gain of 19 horsepower over the previous generation. This iteration can accelerate to 60 miles an hour in 3.1 seconds, and it can reach a top speed of 189 miles per hour. Rear wheel steering, air suspension, ceramic composite brakes, and titanium exhaust pipes are just some of the standard performance equipment on the Turbo GT. New two-valve shock absorbers for the Cayenne, S and E hybrid include independent rebound and compression controls. Standard on all Porsches is their active suspension management system. According to the manufacturer, the new configuration effectively controls pitch and roll. Only the Turbo GT comes standard with the brand new air suspension technology. It's a costly extra on the other versions. According to the manufacturer, there's a clearer distinction between the normal, sport, and sport plus settings with this configuration. The new Cayenne features a curved 12.6 inch display that serves as the instrument cluster. The huge centrally mounted tachometer has been removed. Porsche claims it didn't make the switch to digital lightly, but that it's confident in the new system's ability to meet the company's needs now and in the future. The latter describes a traditional perspective that changes the display into a digital rendition of the classic Porsche 5-tube gauge cluster. In other respects, Porsche stays true to its traditions, such as by sticking with the conventional placement of the ignition switch on the driver's side to the left of the steering wheel. The new standard drive mode selector is located on the steering wheel, which was borrowed from the Porsche 911. However, traditionalists may be disappointed to hear that the Cayenne's transmission shift lever has been replaced by a short, stubby mechanism located on the dashboard to the driver's right. Porsche thinks buyers will take the extra storage capacity even if the design isn't very appealing. The Cayenne's modern cabin retains physical volume and temperature controls despite the removal of some older features. The central control panel features a number of buttons and switches that offer haptic feedback to the user's touch. Climate control is handled by a set of redesigned air vents that, for the first time, don't have louvers. A 12.3-inch touchscreen displays the Porsche Communication Management or PCM infotainment system and serves as the focal point of the new Cayenne dashboard. All the previous extras are included, such as Bluetooth connectivity for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A 10.3-inch touchscreen designed specifically for the front seat passenger and inaccessible to the driver for obvious safety reasons has been added to the available infotainment system. Porsche claims its dashboard screens can also play movies via streaming, but only when the car is at a complete stop. The 2018 Cayenne came standard with Matrix LED headlights, while the new HD Matrix LED headlights feature 32,000 pixels per headlight and can be programmed in a thousand different ways and are available as an option. Porsche has upgraded the Cayenne's three-dimensional taillights with a full-width rear light bar that extends from the tailgate. 
the manufacturer has updated their lineup of 20, 21, and 22-inch alloy wheels and introduced three new exterior paint colors and a lightweight sports pack that cuts the Cayenne Coupe's weight by 33 kilograms. The front grille and air intakes have also been updated by Porsche's designers, who've made them slightly larger and added two horizontal bars to each. The back also sees some changes, albeit they aren't as pronounced. The most noticeable upgrade is a new LED light bar that spans the entire length of the SUV. The Cayenne featured a light bar before it was updated, but its taillights were bulkier. Like the fully electric Taycan, the taillights on the 2024 Cayenne are built into the light bar. Oh, wait, there's more. The Cayenne's standard wheels increase in size from 19 to 20, expanding the vehicle's contact area and improving its mechanical grip. Porsche's PASM adaptive dampers with separate valves for rebound and compression are now standard on even the entry-level Cayenne. The Turbo GT is equipped with adaptive air suspension as standard equipment. Porsche also made changes to the rear torque vectoring system and the rear axle steering to enhance the vehicle's handling. So, does this car feature the latest pieces of tech? Well, of course, today's high-end SUVs all feature equipment that takes use of ADAS innovations. The Cayenne is no different, as it comes standard with features like adaptive cruise control and its new evasion assist for emergency obstacle avoidance at speeds between 31 and 93 miles per hour and turn assist that monitors approaching traffic at up to 6 miles per hour. Porsche offers its upgraded InnoDrive with features like active lane keep and intersection assist as extras. The 2024 Porsche Cayenne is now available for pre-order, with delivery beginning at Porsche dealerships in the summer of 2023. Cayenne SUVs begin at $80,850, while coupes begin at $85,950 for the base model, starting at $97,350 for the e-hybrid coupe and $93,350 for the Cayenne e-hybrid SUV. The base price of the SUV version of the Cayenne S with the new twin-turbo 4-liter V8 is $97,350, while the base price of the coupe version is $103,750. Finally, the Turbo GT Coupe will begin at a price of $197,950. So, what's the verdict? The Porsche Cayenne's acceleration and handling are surprisingly sporty for a vehicle of its size and luxury. Things are looking up for the 2024 model year. The Cayenne's exciting handling should benefit from the upgraded engine options, while the well-executed e-hybrid model will receive a larger battery and quicker charging. We also really like how Porsche updated the interior to be neat and contemporary. The updated cockpit features dual big screens for the infotainment system and instrument cluster. We love all of that. After all, it's attractive and easy to use. Additionally, a monocular display for the front passenger is available from Porsche. Active speed limit and traffic sign recognition are two of the major additions to the 2024 Cayenne's driver assistance suite. The 2024 Porsche Cayenne looks to be an amazing car, and it really seems like Porsche has gone all out with it. However, perhaps you'd be more interested in seeing what BMW has to offer in this segment. Click the video on your screen now to see why the new X5 is not one to miss.